Correfoc es una tradición española, bueno, catalana más bien, que ocurre cada año en verano. Es una tradición muy ancestral uh, y significa correr ante el fuego. En donde corre la gente con fuego en las manos, en la boca y luego tienen como formas de demonios y salen fuegos artificiales. Y uh, toda una serie de personas que llevan unas tridentes y van disfrazados de diablos, porque esto se remonta al, al baile de diablos eh, medieval. Uh, so it takes place in the villages in Catalonia, uh, up and down the coast. I don't think it happens inland, but I certainly know in this part of Spain, in the Maresma, and it always happens in the summer. Uh, so it happens uh, in June, June, July, when the nights, the days are long, and around, started, last night it started, we had one last night, it started at around 10 o'clock, uh, and it takes about an hour for them to walk through the town, uh, walk a little bit, run a little bit, stop, relight the, uh, the fireworks, until they get down to the main square. The Correfoc takes place in, um, in towns or villages and um, sometimes it's quite a fiesta because it involves um, going around um, the whole town with uh, people carrying fire and sometimes fireworks at the very end of it. And as you watch them coming down you see sprays of, of sparks going everywhere and uh, the people who are following dressed up as devils and they're all uh, wearing protective clothing. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a very unique experience. Uh, I would say it's very dangerous, but um, I mean, people normally take precautions and actually protect their faces and everything. But you can never know where the sparkle would light somebody's hair and, um, and cause some, some damage. Some people in Spain don't really think, they think, they think of it as a fun thing to do with the family, but I think it's quite dangerous, especially if you have small kids um, and they run around underneath the fire and everything. I don't think you could get away with it in, in Britain, for instance, where they're more strict about uh, um, fire hazards. Potentially it could be dangerous because there's fire, so fire is always dangerous, but there are always uh, ambulance people, fire brigade, policemen, roundabout. And the people who take part, they're experienced, they do this every year. So they do wear protective clothing, so they, they wear hats, they wear gloves, they wear goggles. Uh, they tend to wear fireproof uh, hoodies. Uh, and quite often they douse themselves with water beforehand so that uh, it's damp, so the, the, uh, the danger is reduced to a minimum. I suppose it's dangerous for the audience uh, because the sparks are flying everywhere, but people tend to, uh, to stay out of the way. And uh, there's a, a slight element of risk, which is part of the fun, but I think generally it's pretty safe. My favorite part is the very end, the finale tends to be fireworks um, and uh, it can be a very lavish and extravagant uh, quarter of an hour show of uh, fireworks, it could be just a few firecrackers and, um, and sparkles. Uh, I think my favorite part of the, the Correfoc is, is the, the sound and the image. So uh, they're always accompanied by drummers, so the drummers are drumming behind and it, it gives this um, aura of, of something special happening as they walk through the streets. And then there's the, the, the sense of danger, although it's not really dangerous, and you feel like getting a bit closer, but then you run back a bit. And some people in some villages, they, they actually run through the streets. Um, and then, of course, there's the, the, the final explosion of sound, which is probably one of the best bits when everything goes, uh, goes berserk at the end. So I prefer to watch the Correfoc behind the scenes instead of actually being underneath it. Um, but it's quite um, an interesting thing to see and especially very impressive with the fire and the colors and everything. Um, this year we tried to film it with my daughter and it was a total disaster because we were both in hysterics over it, so uh, in hysterical fear. Um, so we actually, we thought we were recording and we weren't recording just our noises and nothing else. So, so. But it was fun, we watched it in a very um, small town and on a very narrow street, so uh, frightening. <laughs>